How's it going YouTube? It's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Nike Air Max 1 DNA Chapter 1 in the Scream Green Hirachi colorway. This shoe dropped alongside an Air Hirachi, which if you haven't guessed by now, drew inspiration from each other's most iconic colorways. So the Air Hirachi was done in the iconic white and red OG Air Max 1 colorway, and then in turn, these Air Max 1s adopt the iconic Scream Green colorway of the Air Hirachi. So this pair released for 130 US dollars, and from what I know, there has been no official Canadian release. The official colorway for this shoe is white, black, and royal blue. And I gotta say, the way that this shoe released was a little bit strange. So I saw on sneaker blogs, sneaker websites, and things like that, a few months back, they posted about this DNA Chapter 1 pack, but the actual release of the shoe was very under the radar, and I personally couldn't find any actual retail stores that got them in North America. So I managed to grab these through GOAT, which ended up being about 220, 230 Canadian dollars. But just the way how this pack basically just disappeared was a little bit strange in my eyes. Regardless though, I'm glad to have this in my collection. So without wasting any more time, let's give you guys a quick look at the box. So these come in a special edition box, which looks very similar to the orange and gray striped pattern box that the anniversary Air Max ones came in. However, in this case, obviously you can tell that this is done in green and gray. So at the very top, I don't know if you guys can see it, but in certain angles, there's a bit of this glossy swoosh right here and the letters AIR. And then on the front, we have the size label along with Nike Air right here. Inside the box, we have Air Max 1 printed on the very top lid. And then inside, they also give you this special edition Hirachi and Air Max 1 paper. So as for the shoes themselves, this is your classic Air Max 1 silhouette. However, there are small changes to this shoe, which ties it to the Air Hirachi, which coincidentally were both designed by Tinker Hatfield. Starting things off with the toe box, here we have this white nylon toe box, which mirrors the look of the Air Hirachi. Surrounding the front toe box, here we have a very soft sail or off-white colored leather. As we move on to the sides of the shoe, so the quarter panel is also done in that same soft leather, but you might notice that in addition to the normal eyelets, there's also a secondary layer of five eyelets, which again is a nod to the Air Hirachi. Stitch onto the very side of the shoe on both sides. Here we have this black Nike swoosh, which is done in rubber. And we also have a leather mud guard that runs along the entire length of the bottom of the upper. As we move on to the back of the shoe, so the upper portion around this ankle collar area, this is done in blue nylon. And then on the heel cup, here we have this green colored rubber with Nike Air branding on the very back. In terms of laces, so these come with your standard white flat laces. And then underneath this, we have a neoprene tongue, which is done in this very bold blue color. And again, it mirrors the look of the tongue of the Air Hirachi. At the very top, we have this tag, which has the Nike Air Max branding done in a combination of this neon green and black. So the interior of these Air Max ones is also lined in that green color. And as I pull out the insole, here we have your standard Air Max 1 insole, but this is done in that same green color with Nike Air branding on the heel in white. So the upper of these Air Max 1s sits atop this full length polyurethane foam midsole. This is entirely done in white, and then underneath the heel we have this cutaway that exposes the Air Max unit found within the heel. And then as I turn these guys over to the bottom, here we have your standard Air Max 1 outsole. However, this is entirely done in black rubber, and we have this Nike Air branding on the heel, and this is painted in green. So in terms of sizing, my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and for my Air Max 1s, I typically get either a 10 or a 10 and a half, depending on the specific colorway and the materials used. So for these guys, these ones definitely fit more true to size, so I got these in a size 10 and they fit me perfectly. Sometimes I find Air Max 1s run a little bit more narrow, but for these guys, sticking true to size was the right call, and I feel like going up a half size would have been way too long from a length perspective. Next up, from a comfort standpoint, so really nothing needs to be said here, these guys feel exactly like all my other Air Max 1s, so it's not going to be an amazingly comfortable sneaker, but for a shoe that debuted back in the late 80s, it's going to be perfectly fine for just everyday casual use. I just wouldn't expect too much from a softness and plushness standpoint. Last but not least, from a quality standpoint, so while the materials on this shoe were okay, they didn't blow my mind by any means, and the one biggest issue I had with this shoe was the toe box had a little bit of that cliff toe look, which what I mean is instead of sloping down gradually towards the toe box, it sort of slopes down and then kind of goes back up before rounding out the edge. So it's not totally bad, but it could have been better, especially when you compare it to the Air Max 1 Anniversary series where for those pairs, Nike did a pretty good job.
So with all that being said, now let me lace up these Air Max 1 DNA Chapter 1s and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Overall, I love the Air Max 1 silhouette and the Air Hirachi is also a very nice sneaker in its own right. When I think of the Air Hirachi, the Scream Green is definitely one of the first colorways I think of. So paying homage to both of these Tinker Hatfield creations was a no-brainer in my eyes. The Air Hirachi colors on the Air Max 1 works a lot better than the Air Max 1 colors on the Air Hirachi. And even if this wasn't a special edition shoe, I feel like this color scheme of white, green, and blue looks really really nice on this silhouette. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about these DNA Chapter 1 Air Max 1s. Is this a shoe that you guys would rock or is this a pass for you? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8. Check out my Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.